Here's the stomach full of acid. Here's your esophagus. And normally, food comes down your esophagus into your stomach, stays here, mixes up, and goes on out, right? That's normal. But some people, not so normal, especially Wisconsinites. And you got acid in the stomach, and it comes right back up here into your lower esophagus and gives you pain. And heartburn is the main, heartburn is not a disease, right? Heartburn is a symptom. Just like chest pain is not a disease. If you're having a heart attack, your chest pain means you're probably having a problem. If you're having reflux uh, or GERD, you may be having heartburn. Heartburn is a symptom. Heartburn is simply that feeling you get behind your chest, the burning. And everybody who's had reflux knows it. And it's not a very fun feeling to have. Okay? And it's simply caused by gastric acid irritating the esophagus. So acid irritates the esophagus, causes burning. Esophagus comes down, stomach, so there's a lot of, a lot of room for that acid to come flying up and down. And when does it usually occur? Day or night? Night. Why? Down. You're lying down. When you're standing up, the acid stays in the stomach where it belongs. When you lie down, it comes flying back up to pay you a visit. Very important concept. So heartburn can last a few minutes, can last hours, okay? Usually exacerbated by lying down, bending over. What makes it feel better? Standing up makes it feel better. Taking antacid makes it feel better, okay? We call it heartburn. Why? Because it's in the middle of the chest. You feel like you're having a heart attack, okay? However, when you're having chest pain, chest pain or true heart pain is usually brought on by exercise. Heartburn, not brought on by exercise. Symptoms are heartburn, like we talked about, regurgitation, belching. Chronic cough is very frequently related to reflux, simply because the acid comes up, tickles the back of your throat, occasionally goes down into your um, windpipe, causes people to have a cough, it can even cause asthma. Chronic sore throat, hoarseness comes from chronic irritation, difficulty sleeping or lying flat, we talked about, and asthma. There's actually a disease process that we call um, uh, RIA, or reflux-induced asthma, and it simply comes uh, as a result of having uh, chronic, chronic reflux. And people get seen for asthma, get treated, put on medication for asthma, nothing makes it better, simply because the problem hasn't been solved. The problem is they have reflux that's causing the asthma. The biggest issue with reflux is what? It doesn't feel good. It hurts. You feel bad. The second big issue with reflux is Barrett's esophagus. And Barrett's esophagus is a change in the lining of the lower esophagus. It's a pre-malignant change. Basically what happens is you get, you get enough irritation of the lower esophagus that it changes. And it changes to the point where um, you can get cancer forming. 10% of people who get Barrett's esophagus will go on to develop cancer. And if they develop cancer, there's not a whole lot you can do about it. This is what Barrett's esophagus looks like. It's like someone took a flamethrower to the esophagus. Very, very irritated. So it leads to cancer. So what is a hiatal hernia? Everybody's heard that term, right? Hiatal hernia. And it's the important concept is you can have reflux, you may or may not have a hiatal hernia. You can have a hiatal hernia, and you may or may not have reflux. The bottom picture, the top picture shows a normal stomach. And this is your junction. This is your esophagus. The bottom picture, if we take a little point here, right here, this point has now been pushed up through here and is now way up here. The hiatal hernia is this. A hiatal hernia is just a stomach that's pushed up through an opening in the diaphragm, which is here, and now is up in the chest. And why is that important? That's important because now there's nothing stopping whatever's coming in the stomach going flying up here. So reflux, remember reflux is simply a physical problem. It's acid in the stomach 
coming up into the esophagus, right? A hiatal hernia is an anatomical abnormality, meaning what should be like this is now like this. You can have this and have no reflux, or you can be normal and have lots of reflux. So they are related, but one doesn't necessarily lead to the other. So all these things, and we know certain things make it worse, right? Citrus uh, fruits, tomato products, spicy foods. Some things make sense, right? If you're going to take a lot of spicy food down, it's going to hurt going down. It's going to hurt when it comes back up. So it gives you a double whammy.